a comment that became a controversy. Emmanuel Macron announced that a ceremony would be held to commemorate the eight marshals who commanded French forces during the First World War, which could technically include Vichy leader Philippe Pétain, a controversial figure who Macron defended. I'm not taking any shortcuts, but I'm also not concealing any part of history. And Marshal Pétain was also a great soldier during World War I. That's the reality of our country. It's also what makes political life, as well as human nature, often more complex than what we would want to believe. One can be a great soldier during World War I and then make fatal choices in the Second World War. Philippe Pétain was a brigadier in 1914 and went on to lead the French army to victory over the Germans in Verdun in 1916. It earned him the nickname the Hero of Verdun and the status of Marshal in 1918. But his time as leader of the collaborationist Vichy government between 1940 and 1944 saw him subsequently convicted for treason. He's especially despised for his complicity in the Holocaust, including the deportation of 13,000 Jews from France in 1942, a dark chapter in French history known as the Veldive Roundup. Emmanuel Macron's comment drew fierce criticism from France's leading Jewish umbrella organization. The government, however, tried to play down the issue. I think we shouldn't create a false controversy, especially when it concerns a difficult time when many of our fellow Frenchmen, as well as their families, died a century ago. Emmanuel Macron's praise of someone who became synonymous with France's Nazi collaboration was criticized by figures from across the political spectrum. The president's office confirmed on Wednesday that Pétain will not be named nor honored specifically during the ceremony at Paris's Invalide military monument.